Hello and welcome to this tutorial video for Data Recovery Wizard for Mac. Your reliable data recovery solution for Mac. This is the Mac version of the software. As you can see here, I have three pictures on my desktop that I definitely took myself and did not just pull from the web by a random Google search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete them and I'm going to show you how to bring them back with Data Recovery Wizard for Mac. These are my files and drag them into the trash. And in the trash they are. They're gone. Open the trash. There are the files and a lot of other stuff as well. Jesus. And then empty the trash. Uh oh. There we are. Now let's open Data Recovery Wizard for Mac and get them back. And then we have to decide which partition or uh, medium we want to scan. If I had a USB stick or an SD card or something like that, it would show up here and uh, I would choose that instead of my system partition uh, from which I have deleted my files in this case. Then of course we have to switch the settings so that the software is actually allowed to do something to our Mac. We're recovering data here after all. Allow this. Click on the lock to make changes. Yes, Mac computers can be very particular about security. And now the scan is running, and while it does that, I can go look for my files. As you can see there, we get the system APFS, that's the main system drive, and then below we have raw files, meaning files for which the file structure, the file system, has been lost. Now it says to scan this whole hard drive would take an hour and five minutes, but I hope we won't need that long. But right now it looks like it's not going to show up. We're letting it scan for a while and then see if we can find something. There's my desktop, but it does not look like... nope, it's not in there. Okay. So what do we do now? Let's look into the raw files. Now these are pictures, which means they could be... Well, what could they be? Make this bigger. Icons. Ooh, that's many icons, but probably not icons. Uh, PDFs? No. Bitmaps. Uh-oh. No, doesn't look like that. Let's see, Adobe logo. Copy strike incoming. TTF? Probably not. JPEGs. They could be JPEGs. Of course, I haven't checked beforehand. And, oh my god, that's a lot of JPEGs. So, let's sift through these one at a time. Okay, that's a funny picture, but not the one we're looking for. This one's just black, for some reason. That's a cool picture, but, you know, not the one. Uh, laptop stuff? Asian men doing business? Some background scheme, I guess? Laptop person? This looks landscapey, but not the correct one. Hmm. Let's change the way we're, we're looking at things. This file is corrupted. Yep, there's a lot of pictures on here. But so far, not the ones we're looking for. Here's another corrupted file. This one too. Incomplete files. These files have been partially overwritten by something else. These are color schemes, background schemes. Lots of stock images looks like. 
This looks landscapey, but not quite there yet. These are landscape pictures, but I don't think these are the correct ones. Family photos. Hang on. This looks good. Yeah, I think this is it. Wait, this one? And this one? That one? Was it that one? I don't remember what it looked like. No, this one, definitely. So let's just recover these five and sort out the ones we don't need. Click on recover now. And then we choose the other partition, not the system partition, to avoid overriding stuff. We're saving it to some other place. The file has been saved in volumes ESAS. There we go. There it is. Raw system JPEG. And there are our pictures. This one is definitely correct. This one's pretty, but not correct. So in the trash you go. Whoops. This is correct. And this is correct also. Whereas this one is not, so back into the trash. And there we are. I got my pictures back. And now you know what to do when you've lost data. Thank you for watching.